Hi folks, the Filipino Bee here, and today I'm going to show you the flip side of the requests I get for advice. Now I don't have nearly as many female viewers as I do male, but I still get emails from Filipinas who are confused about how to handle you foreigners, and I've been saving up some good ones. Sometimes they're funny, sometimes they're heartbreaking, and sometimes they make me wonder if they've ever seen any of my videos. This time, we have a Filipina who's upset by her foreign boyfriend's reluctance to say I love you. A woman who's intimidated by her man's desire to expand her comfort zone in the bedroom. And a Filipina whose job is not what her boyfriend thinks it is. So the first email comes from Jessica in Manila. Now she obviously speaks good English, but I took the liberty of rewarding some of her sentences because they would have been confusing to most of you viewers. Filipinos don't use tenses and pronouns the same way you do in the West. So when we tell a story, sometimes it's hard for you guys to follow what's going on chronologically. So I fixed it. Anyway, Jessica writes, Dear Miss P, I have a situation that is breaking my heart. I met a foreigner recently and I've fallen in love with him and he loves me too, but I'm keeping a secret that will tear us apart. He's the love of my life and I need to figure out if I should tell him the whole story or whether I should just keep quiet about it because I'll lose him if I don't. I work at a casino, but I don't make much money there. One day, a customer started flirting with me and at the end of the evening, he offered me hundreds of dollars to go back to his room with him. He wasn't an ugly foreigner. He seemed very nice, and I really needed the money, so I said yes. I'm not proud of what I did, but you know why I did it. I gave the money to the people who I'm responsible for, and they were happy because they thought my job was paying me a lot. But about a week later... The same thing happened with a different man and another one after that. I know what you're going to call me, but you know what it's like here for someone like me. And now my family has gotten used to my help and I can't just quit. Then months ago, a foreign man came into the casino and we began talking. I thought it would end up the same way, but instead he asked me out on a proper date and he was so sweet and kind to me. He never mentioned S-E-X, and we started chatting almost every day. He never asked for any money, and he never offered it. He knows I take care of my parents, but he just thinks I make enough. Now he's talking about coming back soon so we can be together, which is what I really want. Honesty is very important to him, and it hurts me to deceive him. I'm not worthy of him, but I still don't want to lose him. If I quit doing what I'm doing, I must explain to him and to my family why I'm suddenly broke. If I quit working at the casino, I will really be broke and can't even buy food, but something has to change. If I tell him the truth, I will lose him, but if I don't, he might find out anyway and I don't want to keep living with this lie. What do I do? Well, first, Jessica, I'm not going to call you anything. I'm not here to sit in judgment. I'm here to help you, if I can. But I admit you have a really nasty situation, and it's a lot more common than a lot of folks realize. It doesn't mean you're a bad person for making the choices you did, and I have to give you credit for feeling horrible about lying to an innocent man. But the dishonesty has to stop. This is going to be the toughest conversation you've ever had in your life, but deep down, you know what you have to do. I have no idea what this man's going to say when you drop the bomb on him, but the good news is that foreigners are far more forgiving than local guys. As you know, in our culture, if you ever confess to something like that, you wouldn't stand a chance of landing a decent guy, and the chismes would be all over town before the sun went down you may as well move to a new city. But foreigners can sometimes overlook even serious past mistakes, and if he understands why you're coming clean about it, there's a chance he can get past it. 
I obviously don't know this guy or how he's gonna react. And I have to admit that if it was me, I'm not big on forgiving dishonesty. But if you tell him the truth before he catches you lying and he really loves you, there's a possibility he'll forgive you. And what are your options? Keep doing things with customers just to keep your family happy? Going to men's rooms and then chatting with your boyfriend and when he asks you how your day went, you say, oh, it had its ups and downs. I can tell that's eating you alive and it's just not worth it. So if you want my advice, here it is. Stop entertaining other men. Tell your family your fortunes have changed and you can't keep sending money like you have been. And immediately tell the entire story to your boyfriend. And he's probably going to do one of two things. Either he'll hang up on you and that'll be the end of it. Or he's going to be really angry and hurt. And he might want a full accounting of what's been going on including some very uncomfortable details like how often, with whom, and for how much. If it's the second one, you actually stand a chance, as painful as it sounds, but I beg you not to start hiding details and trying to make it sound like no big deal. If you're gonna come clean, then come clean all the way, and let him know that from now on, you're an open book. You'll be amazed at how much lighter you feel when you dump all that stuff off your shoulders. I know that the stakes are high, but sometimes you just gotta let the chips fall where they may. I really do wanna hear back from you, Jessica, okay? My fingers are crossed. Our second email is from Indai, who lives somewhere in the Philippines, but she asked me not to say where. So, Indai writes, Miss P, I have an online relationship with a foreigner from Australia, but I don't understand the way he acts. So will you please help me, Ate? Well, Ate means like big sister. We get along so well and we talk all the time every day for weeks and I want him to be my one. The other day I said I loved him, but he would never say it back to me. He says he doesn't talk to any other Filipinas on the dating site and he only talks to me. But when we video chat, he won't let me see his son or say hello to him. He acts like he really wants to be with me. And he asks me about every detail like my family, my work, and my life. But he won't say to me that he loves me. What should I do? Well, Indai, I think you're just coming up against some cultural differences. But it doesn't mean things aren't going well. Western guys tend to take things more slowly and it sounds like you've only been chatting for a few weeks to a foreign guy. That's the equivalent of a few dates and there's no way he's gonna use the L word this early in the relationship. They take that word very seriously because it represents the deepest level of connection and to them, telling someone you love him after a few phone calls is very immature, like something you do in high school. I know it's how we do things here, but you can't expect a Western guy to react the same way we do. He's not going to say it until he feels it. And you don't want him to lie to you, do you? And if you force a confrontation, you're going to sound desperate and drive him away. And the same thing is probably true regarding his kids. Westerners don't introduce just anyone to their kids or to their parents. That's considered a big step for them and it's reserved for someone they've been dating for a while and probably someone they intend to be a part of their life forever. So my advice is just to back off a little. Don't say I love you every time you talk to him and don't pester him about chatting with his kid. Just relax and enjoy your time together, but remember to give him some space. If he thinks you're the woman that's right for him, he's not going anywhere. And someday, you might just hear those three words you've been waiting for. And this time, he'll mean it. And the final email of the day is from Annalyn in Cagayan de Oro. She writes, Miss P, my name is Annalyn, and let me say that I'm very happy to be with my foreigner. We lived together for two years now and we're engaged. Congrats, Annalyn. We may go to the United States to live or we might just live here, but I'm happy to do both. 
The thing I must ask you about is very embarrassing, but I need to know. Before I met my fiance, I was not a virgin, but my only boyfriends were Pinoy, not foreigners. So we did the things Filipinos do. I'm worried because my fiance wants to do different things. Sometimes he wants to put things where they do not go, and I always say no. He likes to watch adult videos and tries the things he sees. He even asks me if I like other women. I'm not shy, but a lot of these things aren't what I'm comfortable with. My question is, why isn't he happy with the regular things? And will he get bored if he marries me and wants those things from other women? Is this what all foreigners expect? And should I try the things he wants? I have no one else that I can ask, not my mother or my friends. Thank you. Okay, Annalyn, at the risk of sounding like your fiancé, let's see if we can get to the bottom of things. First of all, while it's true that Western guys tend to be a lot less inhibited than Filipinos when it comes to the physical stuff, not all of them are the same. There's a very broad range on the kinkiness spectrum, but it sounds like you got a live one. Since I don't know this guy, there's a lot of questions I can't answer, but at least I can suggest some possibilities. Maybe he was in a previous relationship that didn't allow him to experiment, and it's reached a point in his life where he wants to try some of the things on his bucket list. Maybe he was always adventurous, and this is what's normal to him. Maybe he feels like he's finally found his perfect partner and he wants you to discover new and exciting things together. Or maybe he's really out there and you've only seen the tip of the iceberg. I just don't know. A lot of Western guys have the attitude that if it's not illegal or immoral, then everything else is fair game and sex is something to be enjoyed without shame. In my opinion, that's a healthy attitude. But the important thing is what you think. If you haven't already done it, you need to have a serious conversation about this subject and try to find common ground because most of a couple's future problems are gonna either be about money or about sex. What you decide and what you agree to is up to you. But I do have a few words of advice. We all know that when it comes to creativity in the bedroom, Filipinas sometimes don't have a lot of place in the playbook but that's sometimes because of poor coaching by our previous mates, who are only concerned about getting on base. For them, getting on is easy, but for us, it's getting off that's hard. The good news is that Westerners can make really good coaches, but it has to be a game we feel comfortable playing. In my opinion, it's always good to be open-minded and try new things but only from a genuine desire to explore new pleasures with a mate you feel safe with. Unfortunately, some women get caught up in the mentality of thinking that if they can just become what their man wants, they can keep him satisfied. But the problem is, when it's only an act, they won't be able to keep it up forever. And trust me, guys have had enough of women who pretend to enjoy something just long enough to hear wedding bells. Western guys in particular are less likely to put up with it because a lot of them have already been fooled by women who suddenly don't seem interested once they get what they wanted. Be open to trying things if you can, but don't do anything you feel is wrong because trying to mold yourself to someone else's desires is a recipe for long-term failure and that goes for both sexes. Best of luck to you both, and may you have an exciting journey ahead. Well, that's it for this episode, and in a few days, I'll be back with something new. Till then, folks. If you think about it, I'm kind of like a Hooters girl, without the Hooters. Serving you exactly what you need. A double shot of hot, fresh content twice a week. The only thing I ask for my service is a thumbs up on this video, subscribing to my channel, and hitting the notification bell so you know when your next meal is ready. If you want to become one of my favorite customers, please check out my Patreon page for extra content and exclusive features. To help you decide what to order, check out this delicious assortment of great choices. Now, what can I get ya?